Hello and welcome to SnowRunner News and we have new mods in SnowRunner Mods IO as well today. So first off today we have the public test server is up and running and we've had a few bugs reported already which is the whole point of it. You wouldn't believe how many people are on there moaning about it and it's like well it's a test server. The whole idea is that people play on it. The more people play, the more bugs they find, and the more it gets tweaked before it gets updated. But there's a lot of people on there having a rant. It's uh, quite crazy. People need to just chill out a little bit because, yeah, we're all upset the game ain't working, right? But what's the point of going online ranting about it all the time? What is that going to do? Absolutely nothing. So we won't go into bug reports because we'll give it a couple of days and see how things are going on there. And then, basically, the next thing I wanted to show you today was the patch notes. We have a few patch notes and there's just a few things I wanted to go through where the patch note 6.0 they say in the they fixed the automatic winching issue which um I didn't mind that that sort of helped you at times but that has now been fixed the add-on um you can also disable the beacons on the top now which is uh that's pretty cool because some of those beacons that you just don't want them on all the time then updated cargo icons in the game and available cargo is displayed in a map pop-up. Missed fuel icon on the rift map has been put back in and the option to hide crane controls is also being done as well. So at least we are having a little bit of progress on that. Then the one I wanted to show you today, got two new vehicles. So we've got the TUS 16 Action. Or something like that and it's at the off-road truck now this is part of the dlc so unless you've got the seasons pass so you're not going to get that now this comes with three different engines we've got a high and off-road box with it with race suspensions lots of different tire options it's a switchable diff frame add-ons it has the maintenance the small sideboard bed on the back the small fuel carrier and a loading crane and a roof rack which is pretty cool so i'll leave some i've got some footage from squazages who uh, he very kindly did a video where we spoke yesterday and i said could you give us a little bit of a uh, video and he did so he's going to do a little bit more on the map making and the actual map tomorrow so today we've only got a little bit on the the ford f-150 as well and the TUS 16 but I'll leave that at the end of the video and you can have a look so the Ford 750 now that's got three different engines on that we've got a tuned gearbox for it a raised and tuned suspension and then frame add-ons are your pickup bed there's a custom pickup bed a trunk repair utility mounts a flat bed and a crane so that's pretty cool so We'll have a look at them shortly. I'll leave it on the end of the video. Then we've got SnowRunner Mods IO and we have new mods in there. And we start off with Emil Pacific P12W by Emil Hetty. And he's got permanent all wheel drive, eight engine configurations, two new boxes, raised options, and some skate trailers, and a, a hell of a lot more other options on there. And he's also done the Lodestar 1700 with seven engines, new gearbox, new winch, improved steering, added trailers, removed the front bumper a new sideboard add-on as well and then the step 310e light tool truck by arimo 667 and he's got three suspension on there lots of tire options longer winch new engines and added more exhaust than the as of iceberg by fox crf 450 rider and he's got 72 inch tires on that tuned stock engine removed the custom engine and the custom winch and the gearbox and added RU and US cranes and tune the suspension on it. Then we've got military camo textures by Voron Stov, and that's exactly what it is, where he's got camo textures and a little bit of rust texturing on the Voron Grad. It's only for the Voron at the moment. Then the first map, we have a map in mods. So awesome. It's a climb map by Sal Salu Kiss, and it's a simple map for testing but so that's the first map in there in there already pretty cool you can only use it on the pts obviously and then we have another version ws 714 wm by 8y 8y8d blah 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 and he's made that much slower increased fuel consumption reduced torque and reduced the speed and that's really got a negative rating on that it's crazy then the category the cat 745c se by lob l uh sorry lob 1325 and he's added crane engine gearbox it's been reworked uh, suspension on there 600 litre tank added high low saddle on that as well 
and custom winch and a hell of a lot of other stuff on there and then we have a brand new mod Land Rover Series 3 by Zoiden CZ now I think that came he had that in a mud runner I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it was and that is fantastic so it's the first Land Rover into the game into snow runner so it can't be bad right now well I'll leave you the little bit of footage for the Ford F-150 and the Tuz 16 Action. There's only a few minutes there, but uh, if you want to go and see Squazage is, is going to be putting some of these on his site. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go and have a look at them from the raw content itself, because I only took a few little bits of it anyway. And that's your lot for SnowRunner News and SnowRunner Mods IO. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, go and check out my other SnowRunner content. If you want to find it it's uk gamer 808 snow runner thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one